You did it. You always said you would. I'm ready to leave here and to step into the real world. When I met 23-year-old Whitney Reynolds, she was standing in the iconic audience of Oprah's Flash Mob uh, show in Chicago. I was on the stage doing the warm-up. I was the audience producer, and she screamed in her Oklahoma draw, I'm going to be the next Oprah Winfrey. And you know what? I didn't doubt her. Congratulations, Whitney. We are celebrating that your voice is going national. And here's the deal. National today, global tomorrow. Let's go. <laughs> Worldwide, baby. Let's go. We love, love you, Whitney. Whitney. In elementary school, for our dress-up activity and play, I guess, she made me dress up as Whoopi Goldberg so she could be Barbara Walters and interview me. Hey guys, Gianno Caldwell here. Just wanted to send in a congratulations to my dear, dear friend, Whitney Reynolds, whom I've known since 2011. This woman has been on fire since 2011, before then, and I'm just really thankful to know her. Congratulations on the expansion of your footprint. Well, you know, a, a, a few questions outside of just the book, because you got so much going on, but you were on the fast track pretty much from the minute you got out of college and got involved in this entertainment business and kind of being on camera and how you've done it. Can you tell us a little bit about your path? You went off to be pretty much a production assistant or intern in New York, and everything just took off from there. You know, I um, I went to Good Morning America, and yeah. I was an intern. I did everything they would ask me to do. I mean, anything like singing to the audience, I would do it. I did crunches on a I was, that, I was that intern that's like, okay, you need a crunch person. Sure. And so that was at the age of 20. At 21, I landed my first morning anchor job. Hey, everybody. It's Eddie Louise here. I'm the stage manager at Good Morning America. I've been here over 35 years, and I remember Whitney when she was 21 years old. And I am so amazed and so happy to see how successful and how wonderful she's doing. Congratulations on the new season. Love you. And you don't make a life-changing decision and imagine that, that the next day it's going to come to fruition. You might not know that it's going to happen or not happen, but if you don't try, you know that at least it's not going to happen. I've learned from, from talking to these women, if you have a big dream, that's great, but you have to work small to get there. Good morning, Durant. This is Whitney Reynolds. How did you get that? I got it. Mama bear go like and there's only thing it had to be some type of divine intervention a year ago I sat down with you Whitney Reynolds I knew that the person in front of me interviewing me was going to go on to do big amazing things you're an inspiration you have passion and drive congratulations Ooh, new season of the Whitney Reynolds show what's up wit it's Brady here your podcast partner I'm so proud of you and beyond excited for the new season of the show you are a safe space that the world needs and you're funny what's going on shut up <laughs> do y'all notice how I, I guess it. I must be lower wrap woo that's a wrap She's always been that friend um, that has been an entrepreneur, you know. She used to gather all of the neighborhood kids together to create these plays and skits, and then she would charge a dollar for all the neighbors to get in and watch us perform. Hi, I'm uh, Gary Brooks. I'm the director for the Big Middle Show for several years now. We've done live shows, we've done uh, studio shows, uh, uh, locations, uh, and we've been through a lot together and uh, it was a good ride. You know, uh, one of the main things that I liked uh, uh, was one of the shows she did when she jumped out of the airplane that I could swear I could hear her shout from the ground. And uh, it was really fun. You've always said your story matters and don't forget yours does too. Whitney Reynolds, you are making history is an Emmy-nominated and Telly Award winner. She's also the host of her own show, and she is on a mission to inspire and make a difference. Absolutely. One topic at a time. Please welcome to Daily Flash, host of The Whitney Reynolds Show, Whitney Reynolds. How are you, Whitney? Hey. Hello. It is so great to be with y'all today. We love to having you on. Uh, for those that might not be familiar, familiar with your show, it's all across the United States on PBS. Tell us a little bit about your journey and how you got to where you are with your own show. 
Yeah, so I'm 35 now, but about at eight years old, I identified that I wanted to be on television. Keep going. Keep going because someone needs you to.